The IPL 2020 is on the roll and we have almost been into the stage of the league where every match counts and everyone has an eye on their net run rate at the end of the tournament as it is one of the most important factor if two teams have equal points. We might have come across the term net run rate in many tournaments of cricket but what exactly it is? How exactly it is calculated? So hey guys this is Sean and I'm gonna tell you all about net run rate in just 2 minutes. First thing first, net run rate is quite a bit old concept for now but still a good factor for big leagues like IPL. There are many myths surrounding around this easy yet confusing concept which I might clear here. So what is net run rate? Net run rate is a basic factor of pointing out the actual winner if two teams have same wins and almost identical points. You can understand it by following the current points table of IPL, Mumbai, Chennai and Delhi has same wins but they are not in the same position. The major factor that distinguishes their positions is how they played those games and how fast. Let's quickly move to our calculation how net run rate is calculated. The concept is simple, you might consider it a free go. To calculate net run rate we need two things. First how much a winning team made runs and second how much that winning team conceded runs. Let's understand it with an example. In the IPL match number 29 between Chennai and Hyderabad went pretty good to the wire and I will show you how much net run rate Chennai got as they won that particular match. Chennai batting first scored 167 runs in total 20 overs so their batting run rate is 167 divided by 20 which is 8.35 run rate. While chasing Hyderabad actually went 20 runs short and scored 147 runs in 20 total overs which is around 7.35 run rate. So we have both teams run rate. So what we will do is subtract both teams run rate to get the net run rate. That is 8.35 minus 7.35 and that is one net run rate. So plus one run rate will be given to Chennai as they won the game while minus one will be given to Hyderabad as they lost the game. This is pretty simple to grasp but few things to consider here is that wicket falling doesn't count in this matrix. Meanwhile if the team gets all out before 20 over it will be counted as a total 20 overs not how much they played. While if some teams chase down a target in 15 overs the overs will be considered will be 15 not 20. That's basically our net run rate and you now you can calculate your favorites team net run rate as well. So until the next amazing video keep hitting your blind spot.